Well, Tessa, there is a post going around on social media from a project called uh, the Grey Zone Project. Now, that post claims to be offering a debunk of what you're seeing in the mainstream media, saying actually Venezuelans do have access to basic goods. There is aid coming from Nicolas Maduro and things on the ground are not as you are seeing them. Why does it matter? Well, this post picked up and reshared by Russia Today, written up as a news article on their website, again, pushing a different narrative to what you might see on CNN is the source they named in, in, in their report, but what you might be seeing on other media. So what is going on here? Well, let's dive into this video, and it's by a journalist uh, called Max Blumenthal, and he goes around this market, this state-subsidised market, goes to a bread stand, and he says this. This is the bread stand. It's really cheap. The large breads are being sold for 2,000 bolivars, less than a dollar. For me, it's basically free. And here, it's still well below market value. You can see the presentation of the situation that is trying to be made here. He goes on to give you other items. For example, ground chicken, 3,800 bolivar. He says, more than affordable for people to go to these markets, subsidised by Maduro, and therefore it is wrong that foreign aid is needed. Venezuelans are dealing with it themselves. He doesn't deny there's a crisis, but denies the solutions coming from the West. However, is this a fair representation? No. Let me tell you why. First of all, the average monthly salary is 18,000 bolivars. That means that piece of bread is over 10% of the monthly minimum wage. Now, why does this matter? Because if you were to see this video, you were to see this article from Russia Today on their own, you'd be led to see a very different situation on the ground. And indeed, we showed this video to Venezuelans that we've been speaking to here in the cube and also asked them, about their experience. Alvaro, he's a professor. He watched the video and he says people cannot buy bread every day at that price. You can maybe buy it once a week. And then um, this uh, user here said that this bread, we asked him, is it affordable? He says hardly because it's expensive, but people have to buy it because they need to eat. This is what people are saying. But there's nuance to this as well because there is a perspective in the video which is important. And that's of a Venezuelan woman who says uh, to the journalist there, we don't want foreigners getting involved. We're going to sort this out ourselves, saying all we want is the US to let off the sanctions. What you are seeing here is quite clearly a piece with a lot of spin. Yes, there are markets. Yes, there are Venezuelans there who don't want foreign interference. But no, these markets are not readily affordable to people. Basic goods are far more expensive than ordinary people can afford. So if you're seeing this kind of reporting, we urge you to view this and indeed the post from Russia Today with caution.